Gorilla Monsoon here at ringside with my colleague Jesse the Body Ventura. That's right, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm here to call it like it is, as Jesse the Body always does. A tremendous happening right here. You won't find any better action anywhere. Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, Gorilla, I'm pumped up. I'm happy to be a part of it. It's great to be back with you. It's my pleasure to be here with you and part of this happening. Unbelievable. Here we go. The time for talk is ended. Absolutely. They're ready. They've trained hard. What a matchup this is going to be, Gorilla Monsoon. Unbelievable ovation as they're hanging off the rafters. Just take a look at the fantastic spillover crowd here for this extravaganza. The World Wrestling Federation outdoing itself and presenting this unbelievable part of wrestling. Oh, I'm so excited, Jess. You can, you can feel the electricity in the air here. You can grab a hold of it, touch it, cut it. That's right. It's everything I expected it to be, Gino Monsoon. Boy, you said that right, Jesse. And this is just an international affair. We're just deluged here by cameramen and newspaper reporters from all over the entire world wanting to cover this event. Boy, it's a heaven. This is going to be a classic matchup. You're going to see some tremendous moves in this bout. Speed, agility, knowledge, it's all in there. All the ingredients necessary for a great match. This will separate the men from the boys right here. Well, Gorilla, you can feel the tension right now. This is what it's all come down to. You can cut it with a knife. You can feel the electricity in the air. You're going to see One, some fine wrestling two. here. Absolutely. Take a look at the charisma. Take a look at the power pack. Oh, definitely. They're both in great shape. Great shape. I got to do my normal. Say hi to my four biggest fans in Minneapolis. Terry Tyrell, Jake, Jeremiah. They could be the only four. What are you talking about? I don't know. I never heard you say hello to anybody else before. You're a long way from home, Jeff. I'm halfway across the country. Prince is watching at my house. Oh, Prince. He's a big fan, you know. I understood, Jess, that uh, your dog was named Prince. Is that, is that correct? No. Oh. Someone disappointed me. You're, you're, you're all full of misinformation, Matsu. We may see some rule breaking here. You like to believe all scientific, but you'll see greed come out. I'll, I'll be surprised, Jess. I'll be surprised. Both men have extremely high character. Uh -huh. Tre uh -huh. Tremendous I respect for each other. I can feel the volcano getting ready to erupt. You think so? Oh, I can feel that the tension. Give me a break, Jess. How come you don't believe everything I tell you? Because uh, sometimes you're a fountain of misinformation. Never. I'm the man who tells it like it is. You must have had some steam on your lenses. You're worse than Watergate. At that point in time. Yeah, you're How are you going to win if you ain't aggressive? You enter something, you go after it. What is this? He's also a sportsman, Jess. A sportsman. Sportsmen are only involved in duck hunting and pheasant hunting. Get it, boy. Not an easy hold to counter, Jeff. He certainly can hurt you in a lot of ways. That, oh, yeah, that. that's smart wrestling. You know, if you can get your body in the way of that referee, you call it dirty, dirty wrestling. Dirty wrestling, smart wrestling, it's winning wrestling, Gorilla. Now, don't you dare tell me you never thought nobody. I, I may resemble that remark, Jeff. Yeah, I remember you and Jack, Jack Dempsey back in 26. <laughs> Always remember, it ain't how you play the game, it's whether you win or lose. That's not exactly what I heard your motto was, Jess. What'd you hear no, I, I remember you saying many times you had a shirt made that said, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. That's true, too. Yeah, I thought that. Was That's true, too. But like I said, you know, all spare in love and war. Chad going off from this capacity crowd, USA. Like two wild bulls. This is, this is a straight grudge match right here. These two guys just do not like each other. No love lost here. It's going to be a classic confrontation here. You got two veteran wrestlers. They, these two guys also just are the type of guys who, if necessary,
necessary, could wrestle for an hour and a half. Definitely. I'll tell you, these are like two Big Mac trucks colliding head on. Irresistible force feeding the immovable object. Both of these guys will be pulling out all the stops. You can bet on that one. Can you imagine just what's going through the minds of these two individuals? Gorilla, how, how would you like to be that little referee having to try to contain these two guys? Well, that's where you use the count, Jess. You don't try to physically step between these guys where you get squashed like a grape. I like to take my time, too. It's a psych-out thing, Absolutely. Gorilla Monsoon. It's a psych-out. You get your opponent, you get him upset. Just those little added ledge edges can mean the difference between victory or defeat. Very, very important part of professional wrestling, psychology, and no one knows it any better than my colleague. Very well put, Jesse. Well, it's important, the pace of a match. Some guys like a slower pace, other guys like a faster pace. And if you can get your opponent to wrestle at the pace you want to go at, that's to your advantage at all times. You know that as well as I do, Gino. My, my key was never play another man's game, Jess. That's right. You know, make him play your game if at all possible. Don't play his, and if you can't get either one, then just wing it. That's right. He saw battle going on here, Jess. Definitely a good, good matchup. How quick the momentum can change in professional wrestling in the tide turn, so to speak. If you don't have a face of wrestling knowledge, you can forget about it. That's right, that's right. Unless possibly you're an awesome individual like a King Kong. Well, I understand that he also has a tremendous and that's amateur background. That makes him doubly bad. Good. Doubly yeah. bad. It's like having dynamite with a short fuse. Apparently some damage done to that uh, uh, tore a hamstring in there, Jay. Hamstring muscle or some. whatever, sure. It happens all the time, plenty of injuries. That's what I what? talked about. I, I thought it was a stupid move. Well, I, I disagreed with you then, and I disagree with you now. Yeah, well, look, it apparently he's injured himself. Oh, it happens all the time, Jess. It goes with the territory. I understand somebody's in jeopardy of you losing their yacht, Jess. Is that correct? Who? One of your millionaire friends, I don't know. Not Marv. Oh, no. I didn't say any names, did I? Oh. oh. I know you like to rub elbows with those guys, Jeff. No, 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 no. They like to rub elbows oh. with me. Sorry. Find out all the Hollywood gossip. Sure. I was on the plane the other day with Farrah Fawcett. You were. Couldn't keep her away from me. Had to call the stewardesses for help. Quick use. Certainly. Ryan O'Neill saw the whole thing. I got it. Had a chance to see Mr. Perfect's father, Larry the Axe, hit him. Yes, I did. Too. Still got a 24 inch One, neck. Two, he three, said he had to lose 20 pounds. I said, get your neck down to 18.